Okay, so what if this iPhone right here had a decentralized application to where your wallet is part of the operating system that connects to everything here with NFTs? I guess you would call it a NFT operating system. Basically, your static monkey NFT is now rich and dynamic and able to access all apps here within your wallet. It's actually happening right now. And that is what we are going to talk about. Okay, so the way I'm going to explain this is going to be very Barney style, meaning a five-year-old can understand this because I gotta be honest with you. I watched every Armani video and I swear I thought I was in the middle of some coding boot camp. It was very difficult to get into because I'm just a regular guy who doesn't really understand the technical portions of it. But don't worry, I broke it down to make it easy for you. And all you have to do is smash that like button. Okay, so first, what is the current problem we have in this Web3 world of wallets and apps? What is the issue we have with NFTs? Well, first, let's talk about some quick history. First, people were trying to find something for Ethereum for their coin. And there was this wallet called MetaMask that came out. It basically revolutionized what you could do on a wallet because you were able to see your coin transact with it with easy user interface but MetaMask had an issue. You weren't able to see your NFTs. You connected to OpenSea and then you could see it on the platform. The issue was NFTs not being able to display it in your wallet. UI was not the best. So then Phantom Wallet came along that solved this with a nice user interface. You were able to see your NFTs, but there is still an issue. The current problem right now is that when you are using your NFTs in the wallet with application, there is a blocked wall. Like let's say you want to stake your the gods well after you stake your the gods on the website you can't see it in the wallet because it's messy it's hard interactions between the wallet and the app you're going outside the wallet and inside the wallet it's a mess there was one time where i wanted to show my the god to a friend but i couldn't because again i was staking it and it wasn't in my wallet now supposedly this is solved now so let's start off with what is an x nft an x nft is a executable app standard meaning you can make NFT apps or any app in a decentralized way within the wallet. So with my the God, if I stake it, it can now be shown on the wallet because the app is in the wallet. Easy connection without going outside the wallet. So people can build specific apps in the wallet for the, the gods. Therefore, the, the God can be read in that wallet no matter if it's staked or not. So that's really one of the cool things about this. XNFT is basically a way to build apps for anyone on the blockchain within this wallet. So who created this wallet and what's the name of this wallet? Well, it's no other than the man Armani and his team. And Armani is the co-founder of Coral. Coral is a holding company and that company also created a thing called Anchor, which is a popular set of tools in Solana for smart contracts that literally everyone uses. The next thing that they are creating is this thing called Backpack, which is the wallet which we are talking about right now. But why did they call it Backpack? Well, it does more than a wallet, actually. Essentially, you need a backpack to hold all this cool stuff that's going on right now. A wallet directly holds cash. A backpack does more than just a wallet. So this backpack is the crypto wallet that has its own iPhone iOS called Coral OS, which is the operating system. That is where things get interesting here. Very interesting. Okay, so let's rewind. To capture all of this, you have an operating system called Coral OS. Operating system is on. Backpack. Backpack holds the apps called XNFTs, which is all programmable. So now there is actually a Solana mobile phone as well coming out that will be able to use Backpack, which would be great because app stores like iPhone charge 30% tax on apps and they control it, which is not right. But here's the other thing. This is made for Web3, everything to do with Web3. So you know it's user friendly. Examples like Adobe not being able to compete with Figma because Figma was made for the cloud in 2022 and Adobe was made for the desktop in 2000. Adobe couldn't compete with Figma in 2022 because Adobe was made for desktop and there was no such thing as a cloud interface within that desktop. People today would rather use Figma because we are in the cloud era of tech. But in the end, Adobe bought Figma. But the point is Web3 building works with Web3. Web2 building doesn't work well with Web3. So why is NXNFT doing this? Well, first, let's look at some issues. 
One, currently you have Apple who charges 30% on apps, right? We aren't even speaking of a crypto issue here. This is like a Facebook issue, Spotify, every app out there, which, you know, it's kind of ridiculous, but heck, even Magic Eden boycotted this. It's a horrible tax structure that doesn't allow innovation to progress because they can't be publicly shown to the world unless you pay 30%. Two, ownership of application code, which is very important. Three, NFTs are these profile pics that we love that have communities, but it's like Atari, you can't really do much. You just have a couple of buttons. It should be doing a lot more than that to where you can actually use the community. You can do things. It can be rich. It can be 3D-ish to do other kind of cool things around like building apps for wallets, yada, yada. You can sell, you can see, you can stake, you can lock tokens, you can see the vaults, you can list NFTs all within the app. So let's look at Backpack and let's look at what this wallet is and let's see what this does. So here we have Backpack. So here you have my desktop, right? I have Backpack right here installed already. And here you can basically lock in just like your regular wallet with like, let's say Phantom. All right, so I'm logging in right now. And you have here balances. You have my money that I put in only 0.05. This is my test right now. And here you have the Solana wallet as well. I can hide it, I can open it. And you can actually add Ethereum here as well because it's multi-chain, which we'll talk about a little bit. But here you have this interesting thing thing right here which we'll see later on and here's the next thing which is the nft so i put one nft here which is the cat punk this was my first thing i ever minted in solana back in 2021 it probably doesn't exist right now but i mean who knows but anyways this is the main thing that i want to talk about is this middle icon here which you have the applications this is sweet this is cool as hell you have things that you can use like audius you have Releap. You have the prices, which I can click and I can look at the prices for all these different tokens, these coins. And you have Solana right here. You have OKB. Sweet stuff. Things that you can't do on Phantom that you can't do in MetaMask. You have the gods right here, which we talked about earlier, like a little story. I can actually stake the gods and I can actually see it being staked right here. I can claim dust. There's a lot of cool things you can do within this app. You can have other things here like my dead gods. So this is an application that was built here within XNFT. Now I can also use regular apps like Flappy Bird. We can go here and play with Flappy Bird as well when you're bored. There you go. I got boom, and he's dead. So it's really cool how you can do different things within this wallet, or should I say backpack. Now you have also things like Audius here, which you can look at. You have Relip, which is really cool because there's something that's very special here. Within XNFT, and again, we don't know everything that XNFT can do. We don't know everything that what Backpack can do. There's so many things that they open up here that they probably don't even know what it can do. And we don't even know what it can do until there are devs here building up on this. So that's the cool thing here is that we're going to see some crazy interesting things here that are about to come. But here you can actually go into Relip and play music. So I can go play music from this random artist that I want to listen to. And let's just say, boom, I got here and this artist going to come out, play their music. It's like Spotify, right? I mean, it's really cool how this whole thing is developed. It's made for Web3. It's something that's finally something that we needed within our wallets. So now I can go transact. Now I can have my NFTs. Now I can have apps. Now I can have things like Gmail, transactions, communication, all in one package, which is the most interesting stuff about XNFT. So again, very cool. You have the profile here, which you can do different things. My account here, I can change the password. I can go to my preferences, do different things here. I actually prefer dark mode. I like dark mode. You have Ethereum as well in here. You have Binance as well and Polygon that will come out as well. You can pop this out as well, which is another awesome thing. I can pop this out. I can make it larger. I can make it longer and I can use my app here like Relip to do this as well. So I can open this up a lot more larger so I can play my music here, put it on a different screen. It's just overall just a cool experience using Backpack here. I can see my X NFTs here, everything that's installed. I can go here and I can put the display here in and out. So overall, that is X NFTs. Now, the other thing is, you know, how can I install apps on here? So you can basically go on xnft.gg 
and you can look at the different apps here that they have. Now I can imagine how the mobile version will be here. What you know, this will probably already be there will be like a little app store where you can actually go and download stuff. But right now we're using the desktop version. But just imagine how cool this will look like on a phone, especially like a Solana phone. A lot of things that I can't wait to see. But here you go. You can go here. You can download some. So let's just download Tiesco right now because this is actually one thing I actually use on my live videos is Tiesco to see what the overall market conditions is. So now instead of going on the website, which I usually do for the live videos, I can now go on X NFT and then go see the Tiesco app within my wallet and then see what's going on here. So we can now see the marketplaces, Tiesco, you can see Magic Eden, 24 hours, the trending data, upcoming NFTs. You can see the analytics here as well and see what the monthly is, the volume. So again, you can pop this out. I can see more data clearly here as well. I got my account here where you can see a couple of things. You can see the balance, yada, yada. This is the cool stuff here is that now you got these NFT developers creating these apps specifically on X NFT. And it's just another revolutionary wallet that I just enjoy to use. And I can't wait to use this more often. But yep, they are currently just slowly bringing this out to people. This is their discord. It's, you know, they got the one collection here. It's basically, you know, invite. It's, there's a wait list to get in. Then you got to get an invite code. Right now, I'm currently a beta tester of this product and able to give feedback. We got the blue C chat here. And yeah, beta tester, I'm a the God holder, SMB holder, and a blue ball, which basically is the NFT project that they're coming out. And this NFT project is called Wow, which is also another interesting thing coming out, which we'll talk about in a different video, not for this one specifically. Overall, this project is amazing. So the other interesting part about this is that it's not just in Solana, is that they are multi-chain. You got Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, and Binance, like what you just saw in that wallet, which means that with the backpack wallet, you can have your ETH and Solana wallets all using this thing within the same app, within the same platform. I no longer have to go into MetaWask wallet, connect, disconnect, open C, move to the other phantom wallet, connect, disconnect, into a different marketplace outside the wallet. It's now all within backpack, which is great because it makes it so easy. You don't have to click in and out, which was a struggle. And seeing this, I mean, it's kind of hard to imagine that this thing will be so easily usable, but I really cannot wait to see that portion of backpack. The other thing that they're coming out is compressed NFTs, which is an improvement on existing NFTs. It will basically reduce the cost of NFTs for projects. And that way you can do more things for your NFT projects without using funds. So overall, this whole project Project backpack is revolutionary. In conclusion, X NFTs is more than likely going to change the way we use wallets, but it's going to improve it. It's through simplification. And I saw it happen with MetaMask when it was first introduced. I saw it happen when Phantom when it was first introduced. That was a game changer. And backpack will for sure be another game changer, which I can't wait to see grow. Backpack is going to do things that it probably doesn't even know it can do because you're going to have developers finding interesting ideas for these app stores. Remember when that first app store came out for the iPhone, there wasn't really that much things to do on there. And eventually so many things came out of it, like Facebook, Spotify, all these cool apps that people thought of. Here we have something finally where people can develop things on and come out with so many cool ideas, which I can't wait. I hope this really helped you explain what X NFTs are, what a backpack is in a Barney style way to where I can understand it <laughs> because I'm not a developer, even though I did use Python for six months. But overall, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you like and subscribe. You hit that bell. That way the algorithm can push this out and that way I can keep on making more content for you. As always, much love and enjoy your day and peace.